Howdy there. How's everybody doing? Are we ready to talk about some production possibility scares and opportunity cost? Hope so. Here goes nothing. So what we're going to do here, the idea of opportunity cost, remember, it's the thing that you give up to make a decision. You make a decision, you give something up. That's your opportunity cost. Don't think in terms of dollars so much here, but it's an opportunity that you lose out on. We can use our production possibilities curve to illustrate this idea. I'm going to do this one here with you, and then I'm going to leave you to do this one on your own. So notice that they're shaped a little bit different here. But So this is a straight line, and this one's bowed. Uh, <clears throat> you're going to see, hopefully, why they uh, are shaped differently in just a second. So if you look, just look at this guy here. So I've got points A, B, and C. All points are efficient, they're on our production possibilities curve. But notice, as we go from A to B to C, we're making more tricycles and making less bicycles. So the simplest way to look at it is, if you choose to make more tricycles, your opportunity cost has to be in terms of bicycles. So let's do the first one together here. So if we go from A where we're making one tricycle to B, where we're making two tricycles. The question is, what do we have to give up to do that? Well, we went down here. We went from making six bikes originally to now we make two bikes. Take a second to see if you can figure out what's going to happen from B to C. Karun says I should let you pause it at home, so I shouldn't do this. But who cares what Karun says? Uh, <clears throat> so, quit scratching my sofa. Stop that. Get out of here. That was my cat. Uh, from B to C, what are we choosing to make more of now? Still making more tricycles, going from two to three, but we got to give something up. We got to give up some bikes here. Well, we went from making four bikes, so now we're making two bikes. So again, stop it. The answer is two bikes. You notice, no matter where we went here, we always gave up two bikes uh, <clears throat> every time. So this is what we call a constant cost. PPC curve, all right? Uh, Small, could you please stop destroying my couch? Uh, now, if you switch it here and you go from instead go instead of going from B to C, go from C to B. Now we're choosing to make more bicycles. We go from making two bicycles to making four bicycles. We had to give something up to be able to do that. We gave up one tricycle. Fair enough. See what B to A is, if you're really uh, feeling good. Uh, but also, the more important thing is, I want you to try this one on for size. So this one is shaped a little bit different. I want you to notice what happens when you go from A to B, B to C, C to D. Take a look. Uh, so we start at 10, we drop to 9, 7, 4, 0, and that's our guns. I know it might be a little bit tricky to see at the top there. And then we go 0, 8, 14, 18, 20 here with our butter. See if you can check out the difference in these two curves so you can fill those in. Uh, if you can figure out what happens to your cost here, it'll tell you what type of production possibilities curve this is. If you get it, uh, you can text me, message me, whatever. Uh, let me know what you think the answers are, all right? Thanks a lot, guys. <clears throat>